Well, hey guys, we're live. Welcome to Bella Vista English Mastiffs. Tonight, we're making satin balls. And I want to bring you guys up to date with some really cool things that are going on right now. And uh, first, I want to show you how we're doing the satin balls. And what I love about this is not only is it great for whelping, meaning when your puppies are being born, but it can be used to build up a dog. It can be used for pretty near anything. So let me tell you the ingredients. Okay. This is our great room, by the way. <laughs> this is our great room, so we're not in the whelping room tonight. What we're going to use is one pound of 70 to 85% lean ground beef. I'll walk back here. We're going to be using old fashioned oats, the old fashioned, the steel cut, not the quick oats. We're going to be using total cereal. We're going to be using wheat germ. We're going to be using one room temperature egg. We're going to be using molasses. We're going to be using coconut oil. I purchased Luana or Luana, 100% pure liquid coconut oil. And I really love this product. It's called Dine. D-Y-N-E, it is sold at Tractor Supply, and it is liquid nutritional supplement for dogs, and it's high calorie. So I use this during whelp, when maybe my girls are not hungry, and this keeps them sustained through the whelp, and then during the whelp, and then after. But really, it's good to have them in the refrigerator, they defrost very quickly. In the summertime, really, you can even serve them a little frozen. It does not matter. So, who's with us? Hi, Justin. Hi, Renee. We're getting ready. We're getting ready. All right, so we're making satin balls, and I have an announcement. So, we're going to crack the egg. This is good to build up a dog. It's great for puppies. I'll wash this tablecloth after. We're gonna do, I'll actually give you the directions and I can post it on the page if you like. We're doing one and a third cup of total cereal. We're doing six tablespoons of wheat germ. We're doing one and a half cups of old-fashioned oats. We're doing um, one package of the unflavored gelatin. We're doing two tablespoons of the coconut oil. Coconut oil is so good. I used to give it to my horses. I've always given it to my dogs. It's great for coat. It's great. It's just wonderful nutrients. You want to get every bit of that liquid nutrition in there. Okay? We have two tablespoons of molasses. What dog or what horse doesn't love molasses, right? And this right here is the Dine. It's called D-Y-N-E. It's a high calorie, super nutrient based product. I get it from Tractor Supply. It lasts a long time if you only have one dog, but I give it to Gage. I give it to Patton. It's got really good vitamin E in it. 
All right. What else? What else we got? We need that beef. Where is the beef? <laughs> Where is the beef? All right. Now, I already did a whole batch. Thank you. You want to show the bag? I did finally find medical grade gloves that are a little smaller for my tiny hands. Chris is going to show you. I usually put about six. What'd she say? No volume? Mm -hmm. Can everybody hear us? Can you guys hear me? Yes. Okay. So Chris is going to show you six of them to a bag. I do them on an um, uh, aluminum foil tray, and I do about six to a bag, and they're just good all the time. And don't worry about the one raw egg. As long as your eggs are fresh, Plus and as long as there's no cracks. Plus you're freezing. Yeah. Mm. Ooh. So guys, you know that I have partnered up over the years with canine P4, I get a lot of my reproductive stuff from them. It's where I got the incubator and the semen analysis microscope. And of course, every time I buy, because I'm a recognized breeder, every time I buy something from a company, they ask me to rip it. So when I was buying the incubator and the semen analysis microscope, K9P4 asked me to do a rep video for them so they could use it for training videos. Because we love the incubator, by the way, and the semen analysis microscope. But you guys know how I feel about green tripet. Now remember, if you go into a grocery store, and, and you find white tripe, that is not, that's been bleached. So you don't want to give your dogs anything that's been bleached. So, nice little meatballs. Um, so I got in touch. Now, for about 10 years, I have, rep, I have promoted... Pet kind. They're a company out of British Columbia, Canada. They make the solid gold green tripe. They make the kibble. They make all kinds of different stuff. And what I love about it is it's a family run business. <laughs> the wife, her husband bought her a little, little dog. And when they went to visit the mother-in-law on her farm, the dog wouldn't eat. So the wife was worried. This is what I was told last night. The wife was worried that the dog was going to get sick. So while on the in-law's farm, she decided to come up with a recipe of what she could find on the farm that would build her dog up or so that she wouldn't get sick or whatever. So that is how Green Tripe came to its existence. Well, I have, rep I have repped them and promoted them for about 10 years. As, I mean, in 2017 and 18, I was feeding it to, I fed it to Gage when he was a baby, I fed it to Patton, Kiana, all my dogs. I believe that you build them from the ground up, from the inside out, and what it is is tripe in the cow's stomach is loaded with bacteria. So no dairy uh, cattle farmer or whatever can sell it to you from their farm because it's loaded with so much bacteria. But pet kind in British Columbia, Canada, they do pasteurize it just enough, still keeping 
all the good bacteria. And you know how I feel. I feed it to your puppies at four weeks old. I feed it right through to the nine weeks. And I encourage all my clients to, uh, to feed it. And I'll tell you why. I believe the best bloodlines in the world will only get you so far. If you don't feed them right and take care of them, then you're just not going to have a good finished product. So Pet Kind contacted me last night. I was surprised because it was like 9 o'clock and one of the head of the company called me and because I'm one of their breeders and I promote them, they've decided that all of our future litters, they are going to do puppy take-home kits for us. So on top of what I do for my clients in the puppy take-home bags, PetKind is going to be doing puppy take-home bags for us. And they also have gifted us with a large bag of the dry kibble and about four cans of other stuff and some supplements for me to try and promote on the page. So I love that. And I did speak with them again today because I was having trouble setting something up on my account. And one of the head of the company actually got on the phone and she did it for me. But also, <clears throat> um, also, I, if I refer anybody, like Renee and Chris, uh, they have a puppy in this upcoming litter too. They will get discount codes. So that's what I'm trying to do right now is, is work with them. And, and they love, they told me, can you describe our product to us? I said, well, that's easy. Well, can you tell us when you're telling your clients over the years, what do you tell them? Well, you guys have heard how I sing the praises of solid gold green tripe. It used to be sold uh, as solid gold green tripe and Chewy.com sold it. And then they repackaged, not packaged, but they now they call it green tripe. For whatever reason, I don't know, but it is the same it is the same product. So here's the thing. Vets will try and talk you into taking your puppy off of large breed puppy at four months old. I would wonder if any of these vets talking people into this have ever even owned an English Mastiff. Okay? Vets don't want to tell you certain things. They want your money. They want to make sure your bill is nice and high. And I'm not a vet. I'm not even a licensed vet tech, but I got 35 years in the field and my best friend was a large animal neurosurgeon in Canada and now she's a professor for veterinary medicine. So I, I might know a thing or two. I have delivered foals, dogs, cats, pigs, you name it. I've done stitches, I have gelded horses, you name it, I've done it with my friend. So. The best bloodlines in the world only get you so far. If you take a puppy of mine home and you don't feed it correctly, you're not going to wind up with the finished product. That's first of all. Second of all, I want to tell you, yeah, one thing about our lines, it's 30, it's as long as genetic testing and OFA has been a thing, we've done it. But you know what? I just don't have any faith in those com uh, OFA. I really don't. And my reasoning is, it's a false sense of security. First of all, this is a 255 pound dog. Gauge weighs 255, patent weighs 257 respectfully. You can look at videos on YouTube of my dogs. They run around still, you know, aggravating each other. But I can promise you, if you do not look after their joints and their hips for that first year or so, and not be mountain climbing or having them jumping in and out of your truck bed, up and down, you're going to hurt the hips on your puppy. Also, I believe a giant breed dog like this should only be crated about three hours a day. If you're going to crate, we don't crate like that. Now, I'm not saying don't crate. I'm saying that a puppy should not, uh, an English Mastiff puppy 
If you're crating any longer than three hours a day, you're doing damage to the hips. They cannot stretch them ligaments and muscles. And you're asking for trouble down the, down the pipe. Now, my issue with OFA is this. If Monday you take your two-year-old dog to OFA and you have x-rays done, some of, this is redundant, I know. You guys all heard me say this before. But if Renee holds your puppy on Monday and you do all the OFA x-rays, you're going to get scores, right? Well, if you go back on Friday and Chris holds your puppy, you go to get your scores, your scores are going to be different. Don't let any vet tech or any vet tell you different. It's true. It's true. So my advice, buy from a breeder that has the best lines in the country. Not saying who. <laughs> I am the only breeder with Del Fricasso and Durant Stiban. There is not another breeder in this country that is going to give you what you want. You're better off to buy the best and not have a truckload of bills because you bought an ill-bred Mastiff. Just remember, purebred does not mean well-bred. And just because the parents are AKC registered, in Italian, we say stugats. Means stugats, means nothing. You know, there's, there's AQHA registered quarter horses that I wouldn't give you $5 for. And I don't have horses anymore, but I had horses all my life. And I've ridden three quarter million dollar horses, and I've ridden $400 grade horses. And to be honest with you, some of the $400 horses were better than the three quarter million dollar horses. I used to ride for a dental surgeon, an equine dental surgeon down in Saugus, Massachusetts. His name was Wally Ward. He used to own North Shore Riding Academy. I also trained horses at Majestic Stables in Saugus. Okay, back when Dave Hanna owned it and Franny Hanna. Anyway, Wally Ward was great, but, um, you know, we don't pull no punches being <laughs> down in Boston. That's one thing about me. Sometimes I come across a little rough around the edges, but um, I feel like this. If you're going to get a puppy from me, I want to make sure you know how to take care of that puppy because I want you to post lots of pictures and I want you to have the end result. I want you to have a Kiana or a Gage or a Patton or a Lily. I'm getting all kinds of uh, YouTube messages about Lily. So that's it. Satin balls are done. Satin balls are done. We're going to go ahead and bag them up now, Chris. <clears throat> We're going to put them in the freezer. That'll be for the whelp. And I do give some to like Rain and Bruno and Faith. So I want to thank you guys for joining us. It was about satin balls and partnering up with Pet Kind. They're going to be supporting us in the future. They are doing some promos with us. And when we have this upcoming litter, not only will you be getting a take-home bag with your puppy from us, but you'll also be getting uh, some stuff from Pet Kind. So that's what I wanted to tell you. That was the announcement. Well, guys, if you have any questions, you can call us anytime. 207-694-1200. Thank you so much for joining us. Have a good night. No. Ooh. I got it. <laughs> oh, there it is. I couldn't see it. Good night, guys.